What's up guys and welcome back to some more Hungry Llama. As you guys know, a few months ago, we checked out this game where basically we're a hungry llama and we're going around eating things. And these things may or may not be people. Now we're back on this game for a very specific reason. It just received a new update and apparently there is a secret cave that has some kind of crazy secret in it. We're gonna be trying to find it in today's video, but I have to ask you guys in the comment section down below, okay? Look closely at the screen, right? Do you see the cave over there on the left side behind the tree? Is the llama not in that cave? Because it looks like it. Like, very slightly, you can see something in there. Is not is that not him? Let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways, we're going to be hopping back into this game. And if, of course, if you guys want to see me play more of these updates uh, whenever they come out, let me know. Show this video a ton of support. Leave it a like. Stuff like that. And uh, let me know if you guys are excited for a double upload later tonight of a FNAF game. Because I think it's going to be a fun one. Anyways, let's go ahead and press play and hop into Hungry Lamu. Alright, so, so far, seems pretty normal. Hello, Lamu. You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear, looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. All right, let's have a move around here. This looks new though, there's little snacks in here. So we're just gonna be trying to look around. Lamu's favorite book. If only Lamu could still read. H wait, he lost the, ab oh, maybe whenever he turned into this killer llama, he lost the ability to read or something, I don't know. All right, so I didn't wait. I didn't say anything in there, but we can't go back in anyway. So I don't think it's in there. Isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. All right, objective, eat three cherries. Yeah, let's do it. So we're mostly looking around here for anything that stands out, like this bush. It's kind of moving. I heard it was a cave, though. So we're going to look out for, like, any kind of a cave opening. It could be in that starting cave, but I don't think so, because we had to look around in there, and I couldn't find anything. All right, let's go ahead and eat these cherries, though, while we're looking around. So this gives us a good, uh, good time to look around while we're trying to eat stuff, you know? Okay, nothing here. I think it would be like an opening or something, you know? There aren't any cherries beyond this point. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to go that way. I didn't want to go that way anyways. That way stinks. Oh, would I want to go that way? Okay, there you go. Yum, weren't those cherries delicious? But Lamu is still hungry. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. Oh, what's that? Oh, well, if it isn't a cute little banana. Lamu loves fruits. I'm sure this banana wouldn't mind helping Lamu. Let's go meet the banana Lamu. So if you guys haven't seen the original video, I'm not going to spoil it. But I think, you know, if you guys have seen the original video, you know what, what's happening right now. But let's go eat the banana. Why not? Yeah, this will be fun. Eat the banana. Hello, little banana. Oh, I've never heard a banana growl before and bark at me. But yeah, that's totally a banana. Oh, dear. Looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lamu. I don't remember this part. Oh, it's barking at me. We'll need to make the banana sleep so that Lamu can have a delicious meal. Why do I not remember this part? Need something hard. Oh, no. This is so sad when you know what that thing is. All right. Like, come on. I got trunks right next to me. You know, he's just hanging out. I would never do that to him. The poor little guy, man. These little, these, that little guy doesn't deserve it. All right. Well, where's something sharp at? I don't even remember what we could grab here. It's probably over here, though. Cause this is the one area that we didn't, like, fully explore, I think. No. Eat the banana. I need something to hit it with. Why can't I? Oh, here we go. Rock right here. All right, take the rock. I'm sorry, little banana fella, but you got to go. Uh, goodbye. Aw, he even makes a noise. What a hearty meal. I'm sure the banana didn't mind. Despite its sour attitude, it tasted very sweet. However, there's still some, place, some space in Lamu's big stomach. Oh, what's that, Lamu? Oh, no. It's a bunch of fruit friends. We don't see a lot of them around here. Oh no, more people to eat. Their fruits should be enough to fill up Lamu's stomach. Let's go say hi to them, Lamu. Oh no, okay. Let's, uh, let me pick this up first since I know I'm gonna need it. But uh, let's go say hi to them. Hello, little fruit friends. How are you? <laughs> and they run off. Okay, well, which one of you guys is getting the ax? Oh, it's the one that goes in the tree, right? Looks like they wanna play a game. Just like the other fruit friends we've met in the past. How fun. Come on, Lamu. Let's find our new friends so we can have some of their delicious fruits. All right. So I feel like a little bit, like, maybe some of the dialogue has changed, but I'm, I'm still looking for this cave. Let's have a look on the outside first. Oh, wait. There's someone back here, isn't there? Oh, wait. There's someone. Is there not someone behind this tree? Hold on. Is this a new secret? Look. What is that behind the tree? I can't, like, interact with it at all, whatever it is. I'm wondering if this might be the new secret, but I don't know. That looks like a person hiding. Oh, well, here's... Let me swing the axe. All right, there you are, and... Goodbye, Orange. Whoa, that was a high fall. Did you know oranges give you tons of energy? Have mine. Maybe next time you'll be able to climb a tree, too. I don't remember him saying that, but let's eat them. There we go. Orange is now gone. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, let's drop the axe, since I don't think we need that anymore. We definitely need um, a beehive, if I, if I remember correctly, in, like, 
Fire? Oh, look. See, so need something hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's have a look around over here. I want to check the, the edges of the map to see if I can find anything out here, but no, there's nothing. How far up can we go, by the way? Because I know in the... Whenever it becomes first person... Spoilers, but, uh... I know you can't go, like, super far up. Look, smash the car. Yeah, I remember. This is another ending. Let's smash it. Why not? I, we'll be heading into a cave anyways at some point, so I don't think we'll be going to the car. At least not until later on. All right, there's nothing here, dude. Where is the items? They, they have to all be on that back side over here, right? There's the axe I dropped. Yeah, so all the items have to be over here. Dude, I would love to see, like, this game keep getting updated. It's so much fun. Like, it's just, like, so creepy. Need something stinging. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Take that. And goodbye, my friend. All right, let's talk to the apple. Ouch, the beast stung me everywhere. Looks like I've got to be careful next time. Have my apple. You deserve it. All right, eat him. <sighs> goodbye, Mr. Apple. See you later. I got to go uh, find something. Take the rock. Now, we definitely don't need the rock. We need something to start a fire, which isn't it like a torch or something? Yeah, we need some kind of torch to be able to get to that other guy. I don't know where that would even be located at, though. I feel like we've kind of looked everywhere, haven't we? Maybe straight ahead through here? Because we know where he is. Like, he's in the bush over here, but like, I need something to light this on fire. Oh, wait, what's back here? Oh, I thought that was a tail of something, like the dog or something, but no. It's just like a piece of grass. Oh, here we go. Dude, it was all the way in the back. What the heck? That item spawned all the way. Look how far away it was. It was all the way over here. All right, luckily, he's right up here. So let's go ahead and burn him out of this bush and then hop into the next section. I think the secret's going to be in the first person part of the game, if I had to tell you guys. But I right, like the bush because I've searched all around the edges and there was nothing. That's hot, hot, hot. Oh, geez. Couldn't you try something less burning? Well, I hope you like burned pear because it's all yours. All right, eat it up. Yum, yum, yum. Weren't your, weren't your fruity friends just delicious, Lamu? What a great day, playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having such fun. Today was a marvelous day, wasn't it, Lamu? Yeah, it sure was. Oh? What's that, Lamu? You're still hungry? I mean, who else could he eat, dude? Oh, it's just me. Oh, no, I'm peeing in the forest. What the heck? Sounded like Tasha. <gasps> I told them not to make so much ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. All right, so we're not even going to be doing anything else, which, by the way, it's going to be kind of hard to see out here because the screen is so tiny for you guys, but we're not going for Tasha. We're not We're not going for anyone. We're looking for a cave. So we're going to look. Oh, the campsite isn't this way. Okay. We're going to stick to the edge and follow this all the way around. We do have a stamina meter, though. Which, why do we even have a stamina meter now that I think about it? Okay, nothing there. The campsite isn't this way. Okay, so we have to go to the campsite to start. All right, let's do that first. And then I think from the campsite, we can branch off and, you know, look around for uh, a cave somewhere. Yeah, there's the campsite right there. Very far away. Hold tab for map. Oh, whoa, what is this? This is new. Challenge, meet at 12 a.m. to bring camping stuff and insect repellent. Do not go beyond here. Look, there's something, there's something on the map on the left side. Uh, what's that say? Something is hot. A poo-poo head. Okay. Keep an eye on mochi. And then it says tree area. Poop. Follow the trail. All right. So it looks like there's a cave. If we go to the camp, right? I think that way leads to the car. I think if I go that way over there, it could take me to... Uh, we found the campsite. What does it want me to do here? Oh, interact. Where did they all go? Where's mochi? Whistles. Mochi, where are you, girl? She couldn't have run off too far. All right, so I think we can go this way now, at least hopefully. It looks like, based off of the map, I think we have to go this way. It doesn't show us on the map, so I'm hoping this is the right way. Oh, no, there's Mochi. I can see it. Oh, my God. I don't want to find Mochi. I don't want to. All right, we're going to go past Mochi. Come on. Uh, let's, guys, can we get a dog emoji in the comment section? I shouldn't go any deeper. Okay, fine. We'll find Mochi. I'm definitely going to have to, like, blur this out, though, because YouTube is known for... Uh, age restricting the, this game for whatever well i know the reason but hold on can i like do this at like an angle no we have to look at it okay M mochi what the f who did this poor girl whichever of you a-holes did this this is effed up tasha ken leon where the heck are you guys all right so that's that guy done we're going this way now i need to go deeper into the forest this has to be the correct path I think, yeah yeah because look mochi goes that way on the map in the middle and then past this should be a cave of some kind. It says, I don't know, cursed, cursed cave. Yeah, that's it. Okay. It should be right up ahead. 
Oh boy. Oh, oh my god, I could I heard him. <clears throat> I heard him running. I heard him running. I heard his little feet pitter pattering right behind me. Oh, we found it. That's it. There it is, the cave. Alright, so this is the big new update. You can hear him behind me, dude. It's so creepy. This is his cave, it has to be. Is this the cursed cave they keep talking about? Crap. Better safe in there than out here. No, you're not. This is the cave of the Lamu. Look! Oh no, dude. This is the Lamu's cave. What are we doing? This is where he's eating everybody that camps here. Oh, this is so dumb. Look at all the skulls. Oh, what's this? Wait, is this the whole cave? Yeah, this is it. Okay, so this is what we had to find. What does this say? Only fruit. Only fruit. Only fruit. Uh, llama is a herbivore, which means he only eats fruits. Um, what does that say? Meat of any kind makes him go yuck. If llama wants to have a hearty meal, he needs to find fruits, not some dead duck. Oh, okay. It's very tiny for me, so that's why it's hard to read. Uh, Miss Mum, evil. Wait, so the mom was good and the dad was evil? Uh, these are his parents. What does it say? Surprise, today is Llama's birthday. Um, his mom and dad made him a delicious fruit cake. Oh my, mom, dad. What a nice surprise. Lamu exclaimed, I didn't know you both could bake. So wait, were they, did they know it was meat? Or, I don't know. And why is he saying that the mom is bad? Oh, no! I just closed out of the game somehow! What? I just closed out of the game somehow! Oh, you're kidding me! Alright guys, so I found the cave again. I don't know what happened. I somehow closed out of my browser. And, uh, well, we're back. Alright, so, yeah, that's the parents right there. They served him a cake, the fruit. Now we have a book? A children's book. Oh, the llama is hungry. The llama is hungry, but instead they, they crossed it out and put Lamu. This book belongs to dad, mom, but then dad is crossed out again. It says monster and it says a name there. It almost looks like it says Larry or is that Lamu? Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I think it's Lamu, a short story by Kalu. Okay. So wait, can we actually read it? Oh, we can. It's a new day today. Everyone's waking up. Llama sees the sunshine and wakes up with a big yawn. It's a daily routine from this for this young animal to wake up well rested at the break of dawn. Okay, and what's up with the, oh, like a party hat on it. Rumble, rumble, llama's stomach growls. Looks like llama's hungry for some fresh food. Oh dear me, that's the sign to go, llama said. Time for some breakfast, I sure hope it's good. And then they drew him getting eaten, or you know, eating something, handed something to eat. Okay, miss home, oh. Llama leaves his home, whistling as he walks, thinking of the adventure to find his meal. Tweet, tweet, toot, 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 tweet. He whistles gleefully. Overwhelming euphoria is what he truly feels. So, wait, look. Okay, so he misses home, but then to the left, there's two gravestones. So his parents died, I think. Yeah. How rude of me, Llama says. Uh, vicious fruit, or delicious fruit. Truly tasty, s says to himself. Satisfied with his feast. Uh, something to head home, but not be lazy. And look, hold on, can we... Oh, we can read it. Okay. Burp. Oh, how rude of me, Llama says. What a delicious fruit. Truly tasty. Llama pats himself, satisfied with his feast. Now he has to head home. Best not to be lazy. They are fruits. They are fruits. They are fruits. They are fruits. So he's telling himself that they're fruits, but he he knows that they're people. Oh, wow. Ooh, no more home. Run away. And there's people with guns? Llama walks home belly very full he reaches his home just when the moon rose he enters the door with a smile on his face but what he saw next made him struck a pose what is this dr bronze exposed as fraud dr eric bronze well known for his studies on interspecies genetics fusion has recently been exposed for fraud as his most recent studies and findings are proven to be falsified on the 15th of april Dr. Bronze revealed his findings of human-animal genetic fusion, allowing scientists to retrieve specific DNA from animals and place it into the human body, allowing humans to have traits that were something were exclusive to animals. With his groundbreaking discovery, it was envisioned that cures to incurable diseases could be produced. 
The discovery sounded too good to be true, which in this case, unfortunately, it was. Upon further evaluation, Dr. Bronze's findings and studies were further evaluated by other scientists. Um, something them, uh, I don't know, to return with the same fate? The findings were falsified. Dr. Bronze's studies were something with all his findings, have experimental results, and that's all we can read. Hmm. And that's the clue times. So, he was putting animal DNA inside of people? All your fault. I did not want any more. After a long day and a fun time, Llama had head to bed. He tucked himself into his warm blanket. He thought to himself, what a fun day. Reminiscing about tomorrow's banquet. The end. Still hungry. And that's it. What? Okay, so... <clears throat> it seems like... Dr. Bronze... Put animal DNA maybe inside of someone and turn them into these people? I don't know. Because it looks like police came to investigate. I'm assuming that's who those two red outlines are on the left side right there. And they had a weapon and stuff like that. And he's saying run away because he doesn't want to eat them. He doesn't want to do this, but he has to. And uh, they found the grave sites of his parents, Lamu's parents. Because, uh, yeah, miss home. So he left home because he ate police officers or something like that. I don't know. It could be Dr. Bronze is the guy. He's the llama. Could be, right? I don't know. This is like, this seems like a MatPat game theory on it or something. <laughs> There's a lot here, but uh, it's very interesting. But then again, so monsters. Oh, wait. Glasses. Dr. Bronze has glasses. Look at the dad. Glasses. So he is the son of Dr. Bronze, I think. And he might have gotten turned into like an evil llama creature. And then his dad and mom died because he ate them. Because, you know, he, he had to eat food. So he chose to eat them. Oh, man. Okay, wow. That could be what's happening. I don't know. All right. What the heck is going on? Yeah, that was pretty... Wa okay, dude. Got jump scared to end it off. Three out of three old stories. Oh, murder at bronze residence. At around 2100 hours, loud noises were heard within the bronze... Re okay, so this is... Tell I was right. Uh, bronze residents. Concerned neighbors immediately dialed for emergency services to inspect the concerning incident. What authorities found in the lo lovely home was absolutely horrifying. The Bronze family was well established within their family neighborhood, well liked by their neighbors, and even having occasional get togethers. Eric Bronze, 52, Tina Bronze, 51, and you know who Hungry Lamu is, were a happy family of three. Besides Dr. Eric Braun's exposure of fraudulent scientific findings six months ago, the family lived with no grudges against any other people and minded their own business. It had come to a, sh to a shock that on Saturday night, Dr. Eric and Tina Bronze were found brutally, you know what, in their own homes with something, bodies missing, both bodies missing from the terrifying crime scene. Dr. Eric and Tina Bronze's heads were detached from their bodies, laid across the floor, nowhere near their necks. The living room was a mess with furniture thrown about, flipped over. The graphic scene immediately triggered authorities to conduct a thorough investigation on the gruesome incident. Families are advised to stay indoors and lock, to any, lock any form of entry into their residential buildings for the time being. The authorities ensure the public that everything will be handled properly and swiftly. A search party has been conducted by the authorities to look for the young... Oh, the young kid. So, yep, dead or alive. It is still unknown who or what could have committed this horrendous act. Although we are all afraid, it is strongly advised to follow the authorities' orders in order to maintain not only our safety, but our loved ones as well. We can only hope that the, the culprit will be apprehended soon. Our deepest condolences to the extended family of Dr. Eric and Tina Bronze. This was truly an unfortunate and undeserved incident. If you find blank or any resemblance of the young child, Please report it to the authorities immediately. <laughs> wow. Okay, so October 23rd, 1977. So that's what happened. Dr. Bronze must have used this genetic thing. Maybe his son, you know, had some kind of disease or it was dying or something like that. So he wanted to use it on him. It turned him into an evil llama <laughs> that eats people. He ate both of his parents and then had to run away from home. And uh, yeah, he saw the police at the home, which was the guys, you know, with the weapons and ran off. Or probably ate them and then ran off. But... That is interesting. That was cool. That gave us some good insight. I feel like this game could definitely be expanded upon, but I, I think that's him in the cave back there, dude. That's gotta be, because that's his cave. Now we know it is. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. That was the new Hungry Lamu update. Overall, very cool. Had a lot of, you know, insight into the storyline, which I really appreciate. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys do want to see me check out, you know, any other updates that come out to this game, or maybe even the next game, if they decide to make one, let me know. Show this video toad support and stuff like that, and we'll definitely check it out. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.